What are we about to do? Check the rock tumbler. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Toby? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's heavy. You ready? Uh, Audrey Jane, say hi to our friends on YouTube. Hi, friends. <laughs> this is my niece. Hi, I'm Audrey. <laughs> She's hi. Audrey. She's Audrey. Of course, y'all know Ezra and Toby and Ben. All right. Oh, Ben's showing you our rock tumbler guide. After four weeks of cycling these rocks out in the tumbler with new grit every week, they're finally ready. <gasps> How different they look, guys. That's what they started out looking like. The greens look And now good. they look like this. Isn't that neat? Look, green. Yep, that's a big change. Which one is talking about this? That's really neat, huh? Bear, are you impressed? Are you impressed? And other exciting news. Yesterday, I made a video about how scared my dwarf tomato seeds weren't going to sprout because they had been in the the greenhouse when it got cold and I didn't know if they'd broken dormancy yet, but I just came down here to bring the kids in to look at the rock tumbler rocks and looky there. It's hard to tell with that purple light on it, but that is a little tomato sprout and I see another one bending its little head up. You see that little guy? So that's just two out of that whole tray, but it gives me a lot of hope that they're going to be okay. Hey Bear, you wanna go outside with me? Come on, let's go outside. I told y'all yesterday how my greenhouse must have gotten pretty cold at some point because several of the things out here that can't handle the cold have browned up. This little tomato plant and that basil, my aloe vera got brown tips, it'll pull through, and that amaryllis which I had stuck out here after it bloomed. I do have some sprouts out here that are doing pretty good. Um, I've got quite a few little flower sprouts, these are pansies. And I've got some kale that's doing good. Some of my broccoli is getting leggy, so I'm gonna try to move it around where it can get a little more light. I am putting a good bit of focus on seed starting right now, and having all of these sprouts popping up is definitely giving me the motivation to work on that. However, I'm also thinking a lot about getting my space ready to direct sow. I brought Bear in the greenhouse with me and uh, the cats are outside and not being able to play with him is making him a little bit antsy. I'm really in the mood to just clean and purge and make everything a blank slate. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like, oh, I've got so much to do and I just, cluttery spaces like this just make me feel really anxious and yucky. I'm gonna start dragging a bunch of this stuff out and getting this area ready for starting seeds. It's pretty nice outside today, I don't know probably in the 50s. It's very, very windy, but um, the greenhouse is hot because it's very sunny. Mm. All right, Mr. Organizer, you wanna come work your magic? You know, when I organize things, I usually throw a lot of things away. Oh, um. that's the case. I mean, this is all useful stuff. It's just been stored in here over winter, but now this space needs to become functional again. Yeah, I know. I've had a lot of people asking me about my uh, green stalk tower that you've seen sitting here in the background throughout the winter. I had moved uh, some things from the garden into that at the end of the year, but I didn't get that green stalk until I think like December almost. And it was really just not the right time to be starting new stuff in it. Now I have big plans for this. I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful with flowers and maybe some lettuces and herbs just like spilling out of it. I'm really excited about it. Now I moved that tower garden out of here the other day and had to separate it. And when I separated it, I realized that there were gnats all in the soil. That's obviously a problem. I just bought this bag of potting soil or these bags of potting soil one day. It was not a brand that I liked and I'd gone into a, just a local box store and um, I don't know if those gnats came in that soil or if they just made their way into it over the course of the winter. Either way, having gnats in your soil is not something that's good. But it was crazy because that morning, I had actually watched a video from, the, from Gary over at the Rusted Garden. Um, and he was showing that he puts boiling water 
on all of his seed starting mix before he starts indoors because he doesn't want fungus gnat eggs um, existing in his soil because obviously that's an issue especially if you're doing this in your house and I thought that was so good um, I've learned a lot from Gary's videos and that particular one was just at the exact right time. Now I will link that video down below and throw a card up here so you guys can check it out um, if you're not already learning from Gary. He has a, a lot to teach. I've learned a lot from him. But I am going to use that method of pouring boiling water to sterilize soil um, on the soil that is in my green stock tower just to make sure that I can get it completely sterilized. And then I'm going to be planting this thing and making it absolutely gorgeous for this year. Hey Spider-Man. You ready? Yeah. Sweet Maya. So as of right now, my uh, my green stalk portions are just working as door stops. Oh, kitten George, have you found a spot in the sun? This is the kind of stuff that the greenhouse has accumulated over the winter. These are the little produce bags that I used last year to hold melons on vertical trellises. It was like a 500 pack, so I've got enough for like years here. One day we'll build a garden shed to hold all this stuff, but as of right now, it kind of gets shuffled down to the garage in the spring and then stuck back in the greenhouse in the summer and through the winter. Hey, Kitten George, king of the greenhouse. So what I was thinking I would do today out here is set out my uh, little trays and kind of get an idea of what kind of space I had and how much this greenhouse was gonna hold. This is my first year to use trays like this. In the past, I've always used red solo cups, and but this year I'm trying to have a little bit more professional approach because I'm gonna be doing plant sales. So I think I'm gonna set these trays out and kind of just get an inventory of what I've got. These setups are for microgreens, which I haven't started yet. Um, I actually ordered something really neat that I'm going to be doing a video about, I don't know, whenever it comes in, probably next week or two. So I'm gonna be starting some microgreens then. The rest of these trays that I have from the Bootstrap Farmer that have no holes in the bottom, I'm gonna save these to put on my shelf inside, my seed starting shelf with the grow lights because I wanna be able to water those things and not worry about the water going through down toward the next layer of lights. Bad stacks going in the house. Now I just gotta get out those. Jeremiah's sweeping my <laughs> potting bench. I've never swept my potting bench. This is the difference in how he I clean. <laughs> He's like, this is dirty, and I'm like, it's just gonna get dirty again, but. <laughs> Do I see a smile on your face? I love you. <laughs> I found a helper to do this job. We can go get the other kids if you want. Uh, I don't you want to do it yourself? Yeah, look at that little guy. Hey, little dude. You hanging out in the greenhouse too? Last year I had a frog that lived out here and he always, he would stay in this little cup of basil that I had going and so that I would call him basil. Just make little friends everywhere on the farm. Let me get my trusty dog. He's so good. Toby got completely over helping me on this job. He's out there playing with Audrey, uh, riding the garden carts down the slope in the front yard. And I wanted to tell you guys something I didn't want to tell you in front of him. Today he came to me, I was sitting at the piano, and he said, Mom, I have to tell you something that happened. And his just eyes are filling up with tears, and I'm like, oh gosh, what is it? And he said, I found a worm underneath the playground and he looked like he was dying because it was so sunny so I was trying to take him to my garden to put him in there but I dropped him in the yard and I just couldn't find him. I looked everywhere and he just like wells up with tears and is just heartbroken because he was trying to save this worm and he failed and I was just like oh bless it and I told him the yard was really wet and that the, the worm could have fallen in in a wet, you know, place and wriggled underground. Um, and that made him feel a little bit better, but I just thought, oh, goodness, I love raising such tender, tender babies. That just broke my heart and also made me so proud as his mom. <laughs> now Benjamin's doing this job. Ben likes jobs like this, don't you, Benny? 
You like garden jobs? Uh huh. I've convinced them all it's the cool thing to do. Now they're racing. This is the best case scenario. All right. I got all these ready. And the whole top shelf over here is covered in trays. I've got some down at the bottom. I've got a handful more, but I'm tired of filling them. So it looks like I'm gonna be able to, to comfortably start um, a little over 1,600 plants in here. Now, what I'm gonna be using in my garden uh, will come from like one shelf because I'll probably have like 125 or so tomatoes that's four trays and then probably 75 to 100 peppers so another three trays and then as you know flowers herbs other things so in my big raised bed garden that will fill it and that means all the rest of this will be space for plants that I'll be selling so it looks so nice in there I'm really excited about that. Sweet Maya's out here working on um, insulating. How's that going, baby? I think it'll help. I think it's gonna help. He did end up finding these pieces. Uh, when he'd looked at them, they, they, they showed that they didn't have any in the right size when he looked at the store, but then he checked online and they were just hidden behind something. So he was able to go back and get these pieces. All right, Bear, come on, let's go check on the goats. Come on. Hey, girls. Hey, ladies. Look at these snugglers in here. Oh, and a random rooster. Darling, do you have a friend there? Did you make a friend? I feel like mayhem is starting to show a little bit as well as Sookie here. They may be my next to go. I can't really tell on Miriam yet. I, I feel pretty sure she's pregnant, but she's not really showing much. There's Maggie's boys laying out in the sun. Hey guys. And then Nestle and her babies. There's little Ruth. Is she cute or what? Isn't it so funny that Gretchen Wieners, the little Nigerian dwarf, is about the same size as Ruth, who is a week old? I think that's so funny. Gretchen is like seven months old, and they're like neck and neck. Honestly, Nestle's babies ended up so cute. Hey, Mayhem. Hey, little girl. I actually don't think we'll have any more kids until late March or early April. Um, based off of when I put them in with the buck, pretty sure those are our windows of possibility on that. What is this lumber from? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, your Home Depot, your Lowe's, has what's called a like a clearance bin. There's a clearance rate, uh, aisle for lumber. I was walking in there, I needed to get like one thing. And I walked by their clearance bin, which was 70% off. Okay, and it's in a bin, and it's sometimes it's all janky wood, it's all messed up. But I walked by there, and they had all of these treated decking planks for whatever reason in there for 70% off. I paid $40 for almost $180 worth of treated uh, one by decking planks, and I was like, I want. I didn't have my trailer, they were 60 foot long. I got my saw out, cut them all down to 8 foot long, like loaded them, like completely changed my whole plan for the day. Because I was like, I ain't walking away from that much treated lumber for that price. Check their lumber bin, sometimes you'll find something you just, I mean seriously, this will help get all kinds of projects done. We make a habit of buying stuff like that whenever we can find it really cheap. And that way whenever projects come up, they're cheaper to get done. What's up guys? There's Ryan, Audrey's little brother. Hey, Ryra. -Ry. He's not having the best moment. He woke up and his MOM wasn't here and he's still pretty upset about it. Busy day on the farm today. We definitely take advantage of these nice sunny days, especially after we've been caught up in the house with rain for days on end. So the, most of the kids are outside playing. I'm going to say goodbye to you for now, but we have a lot going on. I'm really excited for everything we're gonna be getting done over the next couple weeks. We're definitely coming into the swing of spring. However, we might still end up with some really cold days. We could still end up snowed in, and I would totally savor that, but for these nice, sunny, uh, pre-spring days we get, we're gonna make the most of them. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. God bless you, until next time.